Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Salisbury steak melts. Alright, I'm starting out here with my electric griddle and I have some sourdough bread here that I buttered the insides of the, the bread like we'd make a toasted cheese with. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on the griddle. And I'm making uh, six sandwiches and this one I double buttered on both sides but that's alright. You want to do three at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and get my cheese on those. Cheese broke a little bit. And this is just uh, yellow American cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you like. This is just what I had on hand. And these are quick and uh, easy to make. And I have. Uh, some of them frozen Salisbury steaks you get. I just put them in the microwave and warmed them up. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on here. And I said I could only make uh, three sandwiches at a time. I wasn't thinking I could make all six at once. So I'm going to get these on here. And there just happens to be six Salisbury steaks in the pack. Up there. I'm going to put the tops of my bread on. See how they go here. All right. And I have my oven run and I have some tater tots in there to go on the side with these. Alright, I'm going to let them fry for a few minutes. When it's time to turn them over, I'll be back. Alright, let's check these and see if they're ready to turn over. Yeah, they're looking good. And what I forgot to mention is these were one whole slice of sourdough bread that I sliced in half because uh, the steaks aren't big enough to cover one whole slice so I can turn one slice into two slices. You could also do this with like leftover roast beef, corned beef, something like that. It would get good. So I'm going to continue frying these on the other side. When they're ready to come off of here I'll be back. All right, I checked these. These are ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. That leftover gravy, you could use that for a dipping sauce if you like. I also went ahead and I made some tater tots for on the side. So there you have it. Salisbury steak melts. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.